Okay, so what else should we talk about? Like, um, okay. Well, you know how Pokemon has been branching out of their own country for references to the world and stuff, right? Yeah. So, like, Unova was based off of New York City, and then... Well, kind of like America, right? So, like, New York City and... Um... Yeah, but a lot of people say that the map is built more around a... The map is built more to look more like around, yeah. New York City. At least that's what... And that's why a lot of people were kind of like doing the the Twin Tower thing. A lot of people thought that desert area was a reference to that. It kind of isn't. It kind of isn't. It's just, it, it really It was just isn't. like a really ironic... Not even... Well, not ironic. Just a really bad uh, it, it Honestly, it's just because like every Pokemon... Almost every Pokemon area after like Gen 3 has a desert. Yeah. So I think they just placed it and like they also like you also have to remember um that's not their culture and it's not really their problem. Yeah. Like like the Twin Towers like it was definitely a scare worldwide but like the Twin Towers is not an active part of their culture. They don't remember it, right? Right. It was like, they don't have a whole it, day it's dedicated. Not, it wasn't as big of an impact to them as it would be to an American like myself because right. I remember so, I remember 9/11 pretty well. I also Thankfully, remember. I don't live in New York, but still, it was it was scary. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was like a pretty worrying time, like globally. But um, like you also have to remember, as time passes on and nothing happens to specific people, like they just forget, right? Uh huh. Um, and whether or not that's a good or bad thing, I'm not going to comment. But like, you also have to understand that, like, because it's not their culture and because it's not something that they actively try to remember every year all the time. Right. They probably just went, uh, well, we can kind of put this area over here and it'll be like a cool construction and desert thing, you know? So I feel people like in those cases are oversensitive, you know? I mean, I, ca I kind of am iffy about it because in one way, I don't think it should be something that's like memorialized, like yeah, constantly. Like but at the same time, I do believe, like, at least for the first few years, there should be talk about it. Because it is, like, a current thing. But, like, a yeah. hundred, like in a hundred years, if we're still having, like, a big thing about 9-11, then maybe there's a... Maybe not. Problem. I, I guess I mean, I guess it's kind of like the situation with Pearl Harbor, where it, now it's, like, a memorial site and stuff. But it's not, like, something that we actively discuss and do anything with every single time that day comes by yeah like i just think i mean and of course you know lots of people died and it was a very tragic event and you know i'm sure a lot of families are still sort of feeling that pain very keenly but um like time heals all wounds right and we also have to remember that like we've made steps as a global society in the right direction and yeah. I know, I know a lot of people who pass. would re who would disagree, but uh, well, I mean, they're they're entitled to that belief, right? I'm sure they yeah. have good reasons for disagreeing. Yeah, I'm just trying to be I'm just trying to be very diplomatic about it. I know, and I'm just being the outward pessimistic. So, uh, <laughs> but that's me. That's me in a huh. I found a slowpoke. Nice. But anyway, as I was saying, Unova was based off of America, basically, and then Kalos was based off of France. What other regions would you like to see? Canada. Canada. I would actually be highly acceptable. I actually like that idea. Mostly because I want to see more ice types. Like not, I even, not even that. Just like, Canada, please. <laughs> I know, but I'm still thinking like an area that's more covered in snow because the only snow areas that we really had, like, I mean, actual snow on the ground, not ice and anything, was Snow Point City, if I recall correctly, and Sinnoh. And then I think there was like that ice cave, but it was such a tiny little thing. And yes. I would just like to see it used more often. You I know? found the snow incredibly hard to get through and I disliked it greatly. Also, can you just imagine like this... Um, Oh gosh, what would you call it? Uh, just like a beaver's tail sort of beaver. Pokemon. Yeah, 
So it'd be like a fairy normal type, but it basically is just like a beaver with one of those like candied beaver tails that you keep talking about. Yeah, they're really good. And it's like a snowy, well, maybe it'd be like an ice fairy, but it, it just be super cool. And then deer and elk and... I don't yeah, know. <laughs> I, I think there's like, or like a goose even. Yes, the goose. Like, I think Canada's got a lot of natural, like, animals. We've got, like, mountain lions and stuff. We also have a desert. Did you know that? No, I didn't. We have a desert. Desert and Canada usually do not go hand in hand, so I did not we know We have that. every, like, thing ever. We've got oceans. We've got plains. We've got mountains. We've got the city. We've got, you know, everything except a jungle, to be honest. Fair enough. Even we don't have a jungle, so, uh... <laughs> okay, so... And if we did have a jungle, it'd probably be deforced and everything, but I digress! Yeah. Can't argue there. Okay. Um, so, Aaron, you're going in the box. But is there any kind of Pokemon that you think, or, like, any kind of Canadian references that you would like to see in Pokemon besides, like, Elk and... Um... Like, because another Pokemon I'm thinking of is, like, a, a we could catch our own Canadian Mountie. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'd like to see, like, references to, like, I guess, Canadian culture. Um, and, like, I guess a lot of people would be like, um, can Canadians don't have culture. We kind of do. Um, I, I would and, like to see some references to your First Nations. Yes, Definitely. I would definitely like because to I I didn't know about the First Nations until uh, you started talking about them, and I was like, oh, this is actually kind of cool, and yeah, stuff like that. So to find out more about the First Nation culture would be really interesting. Yeah, well, we've got a lot of uh, you know different First Nations people. We've got Inuits. We've got like really just too many to name, and I feel very bad that I don't know all of the tribe names specifically. Mm -hmm. But um. You know, I, I just think that there's, like, a, definitely a lot of history there. And it'd kind of be cool to see that in Pokemon, you know? Like, maybe even commenting a little on the tensions between them. Like, perhaps um, the region is divided, you know, racially. But I guess that would be too Well, heavy. I think that might be too much. But uh, it could be, like, people, yeah. um, like, maybe, like, a certain town that's, like, against using a certain type of Pokemon, like, dark Pokemon or too evil or something like that or something like that. Or just, like, ones that have a specific ideology of types. Yeah. Like, um, this type is like this and this type is like that. Or, or like, maybe, ba maybe basing more mythos on, like, types and not specific legendary Pokemon. That'd be cool. Um, there is, like, a little bitty Murkrow that I'm trying to catch, and it went under a tree, and now I can't reach it. Oh. I don't think I could dig around here, but I'm going to see. Yeah. It's too close to a gem. Dang. I really wanted that, too. It was so cute. There's a little pygmy Murkrow. Was it? Mm-hmm. That's cute. I the pygmies think... are very cute. Yeah. I agreed. Um, I think where where I saw that hoopla is is that what's called the hoopla? little legendary? Oh, um, the legendary that looks kind of like Indonesian to me. Uh, uh, it got it. It was it was one of the three with Diancy and Volcanion and oh hoopa hoopa. Okay, how does it look Indonesian? It looks like it, Arabian because oh, of the genie. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess that's true. It could have been more Arabian. Now that I think about it, but I always pictured it as Indonesian because, like, belly dancers and stuff like that. I suppose. But anyway, I would like to see something that's more Arabic or Indonesian, really, just to uh, see how they would change that. I mean, Arabic would probably be difficult, uh, considering a lot of the issues that are going on there. But uh, Indonesia, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Like, uh, could you imagine just like an elephant Pokemon? Like, yeah, I can. Not, I, I don't mean like Don Fan and Fanfy. I know those exist, but <laughs> but, but but I but mean like I, a, I know what you mean. Perhaps a more decorated one. Yeah, maybe or a le oh, a legendary elephant with all the decorations. Yeah, perhaps. 
definitely. And then it would be like this big jungle themed world and stuff like that too, and that would be super cool. But uh, maybe one day. I caught a slow poke in a luxury ball, all, and it's so cute. I love slow poke. What you gonna call it? Yanny. Yanny? Yeah. That's cute. Um, okay, maybe I can actually catch this Vulpix. I try to I try to catch one before I mention that and just like it refused to battle me. Do you know if you defeat Growlithe you get blaze powder? Uh I think I remember that and it used roar on me. You little I hate when they do that. I do too. Roar and rest. Oh no, don't use ro <laughs> I got a Growlithe using roar on me as well. Uh, okay, what else can we talk about? Uh, professor names. What other kind of trees can professor we Professor Maple. Name? Maple. That will be good for the Canadian one. No, oh, Slowbrook! Um, if I recall, um... Professor Fennel wasn't actually named after a tree. It was just named after a plant. Yeah, but she's not the professor that sends you on the journey, so it's fine. Uh, she wasn't the one in Unova? Professor no. Fennel? No, no she not. was the stream one, wasn't she? Yes. Shoot, that's why I was getting mixed up in. Uh, the, the professor in that generation was, I think... Fuck, I can't remember. See, that, that's the thing, right? Like... Later generations are so much less memorable. I think it's because there's less of the nostalgia. Nostalgia? No, not even that. Like, um, I can name them all the way up to Generation 4, and then I can't name Generation 5, but I can name Generation 6, so I just don't know what it was about her. I kind of agree. Generation 5 is the one Skaymore? that I Was it Skaymore? I think it was Skaymore. I don't know. Let me, let me I'm, all, I'm all curious now. Let's see. I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. Professor Gen Oak, Professor Birch, Professor Elm, uh, Professor... I've already forgotten Gen 4's Professor, too. Oh, professor... oh, it was Juniper! No, professor Juniper! Professor Juniper. That's what it was. So, it was Oak, Elm, Birch, Rowan, Juniper, and Sycamore. There we go. Smart. Now we need a Professor... Magnolia, maybe? That would be a Yeah, that, that'd be cool. And make it a girl, please. Because we've got one girl professor, and that's really lame. <laughs> Especially because we can't even remember her name. Yeah. I mean, she just wasn't as involved, I don't think. Uh, you, know, you know what, though? I would actually not mind uh, if they have a male professor. If, if... The boss of the next team is a woman. Uh, I guess, yeah, that'd be that'd be good because too. we've never had a woman leading the evil team. Uh, Arania in um, Generation Two at the revival of Team Rocket. True, but it was still kind of building off of Giovanni's legacy too. Uh, I guess. But... I mean, it wasn't like she founded the team herself, so. Well, that's true. But we've had a lot of women, uh, like, in evil organizations. Yeah, but no one ever actually leading said organization. That's true. I mean, we've had female uh, champions, which, by the way, uh, Cynthia's still probably one of the coolest looking champions to me. She's very tough. Yeah. She's a very memorable character, which is really good. I, I can't even remember Dian uh, Diantha. I might not remember her name, but I remember Diantha, the, ch the gym I, leader. I don't. She made, like, one appearance before. Which, I mean, it, which is hilarious because, like, in earlier generations, you don't see the champion at all. Yeah, until the very end. And then all of a sudden, you start seeing them constantly. Yeah, which is super weird. I remember Alder a lot, but that's because he showed up a lot. But I, that was I, after... I'm actually glad that you said his name because I completely forgot his name. And I was about to call the gym leader in. I mean the champion in, and then I was like, wait, no, no. Well, it, he sort of is and does become the champion in Generation yes, 5. Yes, and sort of. <laughs> sort of. Yep. 